Okay, we got Uncle Ruckus funny moments. Y'all vibe out, relax, and watch this joint with me. So that the builder refused, I am the visual, the inspiration that made ladies see the blues. I'm the spark that makes you hot. Come on, YouTube. Give me all the way, Cooper can't take. Excuse me. Oh Lord, how much is security? Security. We got a cold black. Cold black at the main gate. Okay, Bear. What the hell is a cold black? Now yeah, some hungry looking nigga. That's a cold <laughs> game. What y'all doing here? Deliveries are in the back. Really? Oh yeah. It was in 1957, back in Tennessee. Now the defendant was accused of shooting three little white women with a Winchester rifle from about 50 yards away. See, now he thought he was gonna get off of that old "I'm blind" excuse. But oh. Wait, I'm blind? Is this Stevie Wonder? Now he thought he was gonna get off of that old "I'm blind" excuse. But oh boy, he had another thing coming. <laughs> the jury will now go off and deliberate on. Guilty! That nigga is guilty! <laughs> Between me and you, your granddad shouldn't be too worried. Everybody knows niggas can't fight. I'm sorry? You what? Me, nigga. Niggas can't fight. They don't possess the strength for character or the mental quickness to be a great fighter. What? Has he not seen boxing? <laughs> Like, literally, like, the best boxers in the world are all black. <laughs> y'all, y'all want to know something crazy? I was watching TikTok. I be on the deep side of TikTok. Y'all want to know something that's really, really scary, y'all? I was watching this TikTok, and somebody was saying, y'all want to know why black people be so much more athletic and, like, athletically gifted than a lot of white people? And this is not even, like, a, a white versus black thing. This is literally, like, a fact. The reason a lot more black people are more, like, athletically gifted and, like, they put on muscle easier is because back when we were slaves, a lot of the white people would literally breed us together so that we would be the best black people. Like, th is that not crazy? That's literally, like, the I never even thought of that. I was like, w that actually makes so much sense, bro. They literally used to be, like, and it didn't even matter, like, whether you was brother, sister. It didn't matter. If you, like, if you was athletic... And there was this other athletic woman. They would literally put y'all together. And then after so many years of breeding like the best black people so that you could get the best slaves, whenever everybody got free, now we're just more athletic. Like, bro, that's crazy. Like, that's actually wild, bro. <laughs> like, when you think about it, it's like, bro, that's why I like, I like a lot of the athletes are black, bro. Because literally they just bred us to be like athletic. Like, that's crazy. <laughs> all the best fighters in the world have always been white, man. Jack Dempsey, Rocky Marciano, Sylvester Stallone, and don't forget Rap Macho. You name me one great black heavyweight fighter. Name one. Go ahead, fight. Name one. See that you can't do it. What, 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 what? Oh, 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 oh. Oh, you want to pull Ali out your ass? That's what you think about? Muhammad Ali? Well, that nigga so tough, then why he didn't go to Vietnam? Oh I my gosh. Because he was scared. That's why. Right. I say, man, what nothing wrong with slave red. At least we got good food back there. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. White man show sure could be yo. Oh! Where's Gangsta Mishes? Let's say that again. I couldn't hear you over the sound of me shitting my <laughs> Bro, the one thing that I will say, and I know, and this is coming from a black person, I know white people be fed the hell up when it comes to black people, bro. The one thing that I will say is that black people do not discriminate when it comes to, like, disrespecting other black people, bro. <laughs> like, it's, it's, it's actually really tragic. It's really, really sad that, like, black people don't, like, out of all of the communities around the world, I feel like black people, we don't really, like, get along the best with other black people. Like, now, we'll get down with black people. The connection is strong, but I'm talking about as a whole, as a general. You know what I'm saying? Hey, that pretty little white chillin. Now, look at all them precious little vanilla-colored faces. What? I heard this was the only guy they could find to do it. Now, I know y'all <laughs> think old Santa Claus look a little bit darker than you, too, ho-ho! 
See, that's just called Santa Claus got a little bit of revitalizing. No. See, that's the opposite of what Michael Jackson got. Don't worry, ain't no Jesus juice up here. Come on, let's get this show hey. on the road. La de da de do. Look like we got us the winner of the lucky nigga of the year award. <laughs> Bro, I'm not gonna lie, the old school shows used to actually be like wild. Like they really didn't care what they was doing, bro. Y'all hear this, bro? <laughs> bro, the old school, like even, you gotta think about shows like South Park. We used to have like crazy shows back in the day, bro. <laughs> <sighs> They must think the sun shine out your ass. Mr. Wumps has been very nice. Yes. They must think you sit in that fucking podium. <laughs> well, I've been working for Mr. Wumps for 20 years. I ain't never got invited to the party. Shoot, he don't even let me use the front door. Damn. But you wouldn't know about that now, would you, Mr. Till? Oh, yeah. They must think your shit smell like spring daisies and cinnamon. Sir, settle down. You have to go deliberate. I don't need to deliberate. Hang that nigga now. I got the rope right here. What? Congratulations, <laughs> Robert. I told you a nigga that black couldn't fight. Woo! Good going. Kids, kids, calm <laughs> down. A company and parents, calm down as well. I am the real Santa Claus. No, you're not. Oh, ho, ho, look at my belly shake. Bro, that's from the liquor you've been ingesting from hating yourself. Bro, what? <laughs> a heartbreaker revitaligo with a very serious life-threatening condition. <laughs> attention, please, attention, please. My name is Uncle Ruckus, no relation. I want to sing y'all a brand new song I just wrote. I just told y'all it's from the liquor. Y'all think I'm playing. What y'all think in there? Water? Mm-mm. It's some tequila. <laughs> Call. Don't trust them new niggas over there. What? Hang along if you know the words. <laughs> okay. Give us Don't the vocals. Don't trust them new niggas over there. Leaving they nigga essence in the air. What? Happy, nappy head niggas with the fingers on the trigger. Dang! Them new niggas over there. Home to look like that. Kobe. Right, now I know exactly what happened to Kobe. Kobe caught that white fever. White fever get in your blood, man, that'll make you crazy. And you know they got them short little skates now. What? Even that, uh, what, what, what they call them? The, the, the tongs? Thongs. Thongs? Yeah, right. <laughs> Bro, what? Nah, this is crazy. It's no way this man right here think he's gonna get a white woman with a short skirt and a thong, bro. They're running. Look at this man's face. <laughs> they got the thongs all up the booty crack and they got that sweet white nectar. Oh, Lord. What? Have and after that, it's over. You wake up and you don't even know what you done done. Just a pool of sweat around your ankles and a deep... Ankles? Nah, this man's... This is too graphic, bro. What? You don't know what you did? Bro, I'm scared for you. I hope you don't go to jail. Deep sense of satisfaction. Give me a minute, Robert. You're sweating? You, like you need to take five. <laughs> Just them big nostrils over yonder To suck up so much air It'll make you wonder don't trust them new niggas with their spiny little nigga figures. Don't trust them new niggas <laughs> over there. Bro, look at their face. Oh! <laughs> Bro, how did the fall look so far? This is not. Look at this. This is not a huge fall. Over there. is okay as long as they say it yeah you're correct <laughs> listen to your black ass talk all day about how much you can't stand black folks ain't two of them in the history of the world that's worth a squirrel for well, how much you love white folks best thing the good lord ever did for the planet of <laughs> ruckus you black as ace of spades man damn i don't see the need for you to go and insult the man after a game of chess huh? We've been reminiscing all day, looking in each other's eyes, acting like we like each other. Now you gotta go ahead and remind me of my ailment. Ailment? That's right. You heard of vitiligo? No. <laughs> Shoot. Well, I got re-vitiligo. 
Every year my skin just seemed to get blacker and darker <laughs> and blacker and then more darker. <laughs> it's the opposite of what Michael Jackson got. <laughs> Lucky bastard. And so, brothers and sisters. Who is this big dude next to MLK? You know I... Hey, shut the hell up, you black son bitch. <laughs> What's wrong with y'all? Thank God for the white man's infinite mercy, Martin Luther King. Cause if it was up to me, I'd unleash the hound and turn y'all niggas into puppy child. I was happy at the back of the bus. What? <laughs> y'all know... Oh, y'all know what's crazy? Back in the day, they didn't want to sit in the back of the bus. They wanted to sit anywhere they wanted to on the bus. Fast forward, when I was growing up in school, all of the black people wanted to sit in the back of the bus. The back of the bus was the cool spot. It was where everything was supposed to be. I feel like it's so, so crazy that everything came full circle. Like, black people really say nigga, and it's okay. Like, back in the day, they called that as like a, a, like a negative term. But now everybody just say it is like that's just a that's how we address each other. And then we want to sit in the back of the bus. Like it's like it's crazy that everything come in full circle. Like what? My friend say my good man that's Uncle Roku. It's French. I'm part French and Cherokee Indian. With just a split splash Irish. I'm Ruckus, how could you possibly love white people so much? It's easy. Have you ever looked at them? White man just a joy to be a ride. They smell like lemon juice and pledge furniture cleaner. <laughs> they do be smelling like lemon juice. I feel like it's certain white people who are enjoyable, but I feel like for some reason, let me know if I'm tweaking. I feel like a lot of the times, if it's somebody white who don't be around black people, they kind of be awkward. Like, like we like some like different type of like human. Like they don't act normal. Like, usually, if it's somebody who's been around black people, if it's a white person who's been around black people, they know how to act normal. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's my experience. But you get around white people who usually don't be around black people. And it's like, especially if they, like, get drunk or, like, they on drugs, they go act the extra mile to try to, like, be cool with you or be nice or try to act like they rock with you. And it's like, bro, just be normal. I have a friend, and I swear she got some type of black in her dude. <laughs> Bro, I don't know what it is, but that's just... Them. They gave us discipline, jobs, put struts in our lives, took us out the jungle. And what we do to show our appreciation? We march up and down the street. We vote, carry on, <laughs> in grace. This is just more proof the white man made a tragic misjudgment when he made it legal to take niggas to raid and ride. Paint faster. A what? 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 <laughs> you call that art? Huh? Ain't no nigga ever been good at drawing. If Michelangelo had been black, Jesus would look like George Jefferson. <laughs> well, let me just say this, Ham. If it's one thing that a colored man is good at, it's cooking a pig. Well, you have to say a white man couldn't cook a pig better. His big brain just focus on more important things, like running the world and spaceships. What <laughs> a white man want, a boy? And you, turn off that goddamn jungle noise. What? You heard me. Turn off that goddamn black African Congo jungle noise. You son of a bitch. I'm going to show you a little black ass. You wait ahead of him. Hello? 911. Break the 911. 911 emergency. It's Uncle Rucker. <laughs> I'm a tenant there lane. A little monkey spraying water all down my esophagus and hit my nether region. <laughs> Bro, spray water down your esophagus is crazy. Then Big Left can't pronounce. Doctors say they can't operate. But praise be the white God and his son, White Jesus. Well, I'm sorry to hear that, Ruckus. You're not contagious, are you? Just contagious with the Holy Spirit of our Caucasian Savior. <laughs> I'm on a mission from God. And let me share his word with you. Come, child of God. Come. Yeah, I find it this well, oh. the the brave men and women of the police department come save the day. Get out of the truck and show me some ID. ID. Oh, that's a fine idea, officer. Can't be too careful. 
I'm just gonna reach into my pocket and take out my safe to No, 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 no! Oh! No, no! No, no, no! No, no, no! Oh my gosh! You never reach for the wallet, <laughs> bro. That's the that's the crazy thing about it. Right before I moved out of my house to go to college, my parents gave me a debriefing on how to deal with cops, bro. You never reach for the wallet, bro. Even if they say, "Let me reach." Even if they say, let me see your ID, you say, can I reach for my ID? And then, if you really, really nervous, you tell them to take the ID out your pocket. You never reach, especially if you didn't tell them and they didn't confirm. Like, it, it's some processes. Now, you're supposed to comply, because if you don't comply, you might die. That's what they told me. That's, hey, I'm just, hey, I'm repeating it to y'all. My parents tell me, if you don't comply, you might die. Simple. So, if they tell you they need to see the ID, sir... Can I get the ID? The ID is in my glove. The ID is in my pocket. The ID is in my glove box. Do you have any weapons? No, sir. I do not have any weapons on me right now, bro. You have to be smart. And then cops will like try to try to trick you, bro. You don't let them search. The, like obviously, I don't have nothing nothing to hide. But I've seen some crazy clips. We might have to do that on stream one day. Maybe in the in the uh, after hours. I've seen some cops actually try to plant stuff on people. So me personally, I wouldn't let them search my vehicle, especially they don't have probable cause or nothing like that. But that's a subject for another day. But you never reach, bro. That's just a no-no. <laughs> I'm sure you'll get me next time. Everybody, everybody, gather around to hear the good news. God is white, and he loves the white man above all others. All right! Woohoo! Yeah! Buddy! Yeah! Yeah! Sorry. Yeah. Don't be sorry, <laughs> white man. Only niggas and Mexicans are sorry. Be joyful. God loves you. That's why he made his only begotten son in your image. Oh, God man. hates darkness. What? <laughs> what Don't the hell? me, God. Congratulations, <laughs> Officer <laughs> Uncle Ruckus. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. You know, uh -uh. Bro, they couldn't get this man a uniform for the first day? <laughs> been asking me if I'm upset about what happened yesterday. I say no. Ruckus is not upset. Because the swift and measured response of these officers is... I honestly, you say I heard God actually black. I don't think God is black or white. I think God is just the energy. I don't think he's a person. I don't think he's a person that you could like physically see. Now, Jesus, I think Jesus was black. And the only reason I say Jesus was black is because of the time and the and all of the I'm into all of that stuff. Like I actually be doing like a little bit of research, a little stuff like that. Um, but I don't think God is a I don't think God is a any type of color. I don't think he's a male or female. I think he a perfect balance between the two. You say you mean Jesus? Okay, okay, okay. I think God is male and female. Or not even male and female. I feel like he don't have no gender. I feel like he just a being. You know what I'm saying? is a fine example of my tax dollar card at work. And I just want you all to know that I hope to live up Facts. to the fine it described his hair. old man. And I hope to harass and beat each and every black person I see with extreme prejudice. Hey ye, hear ye. White God is a good God. All right, Vera. Even darkest can rejoice. But even one's case with the skin of cold can enter the gates of paradise if he hates his own blackness. And why Jesus his name? Hey man! I've never what? heard that. That's right, Robert <laughs> Freeman. You must hate thyself to save thyself. What? <laughs> Including the African Americans. Just don't stay too long, darkies. <laughs> Just kidding. Not really. <laughs> the blackness in our skin represents sin. Which is why God wants us to hate the black in us. Yeah. What? <laughs> Get your black ass out of here. Get out of here right now. What's wrong? Oh. Gun! Gun? Oh, oh! oh. <laughs> so you believe God is white. 
First of all, white man, let me say that I love you, honor you, envy you, enjoy your smell, and I celebrate you in the name of white Jesus. What? <laughs> um, thank you? No, thank you. Look at that. That's a handsome young man, ain't it? <laughs> now, if God looked like Isaac Hayes, you think his son would look like this? So, black people are a curse, 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 and all those like me. And cause them misery, just like your silly with Ronald Reagan did. And if any of my words don't come directly from the Almighty God Himself, then may I be struck by No, the no, no, don't kill him. The lightning bolt that saved Shabazz's life seemed to have struck Uncle Ruckus on his tomb. Doctors will find no remaining signs of his cancer. What the f- Where did that come from? <laughs> Bro, black is beautiful. I feel like all people beautiful. I feel like we gotta do a better job of being unified, you know? Um... They have negative people in the world. They have positive people in the world. We need to do a better job of fostering positive communities that can also be enjoyable, loving, and, you know, passionate about life. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, whenever we go to heaven or whenever we end life, we don't know what's really going to happen. We just all got our beliefs. We got our, like, but at the end of the day, whenever we on this earth together, the one thing that we can all rally behind is love. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like that's the realest thing ever, bro. Because nobody ever gets hurt when it's true love. When it, Whenever you look out for somebody and they look out for you, that's a beautiful situation. So regardless of who you are or who you got around you, have good people around you, loving people, and keep, create a community of people and, and relish in those moments. Because the, be, the, the most expensive thing in life and the most precious thing in life is time. You want to spend that time with good people. You want to spend that time doing things that you love and things that are meaningful. So if you go throughout life that way, I promise you, you won't be disappointed in your life. I promise.